Hi, today we're going to have a look at the carbon cycle. So we're going to have a look at how carbon is cycled through the ecosystem. So plants take up carbon dioxide via the process of photosynthesis and convert this into carbon compounds, such as glucose. The animals then eat the plants and take up the carbon compounds. Both the plants and the animals respire. That releases carbon dioxide back up into the atmosphere. When the plants and animals both die, they get broken down by saprophytic bacteria and fungi via the process of decomposition. Um, once they have broken it down to release glucose or other simple sugars, they can then respire this and that releases more carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So this process here, which takes place, that's just the normal functioning which takes place in an ecosystem. But we do need to consider the man, like man-made um, contribution to it as well. So, if the plants and animals they don't they don't get decomposed, they go through the process of fossilization, and that obviously produces fossil fuels, which we can burn in cars, factories, and power stations via the process of combustion, and that releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and artificially increases the level of carbon dioxide. Let's have a look at these points. Um, on the next so the first thing which we, we, we said before so the carbon dioxide is taken up by plants that's via the process of photosynthesis and the carbon containing compounds in the plants they get transferred into the animals via feeding and both plants and animals respire and that releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so we will label this arrow respiration and the death when the plants and animals die and then get broken down by the decomposers that is decomposition and when the decomposers then break down the glucose and to release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere that is respiration okay and if decay is de prevented again fossilization and the fossil fuels get burned to release carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere if you remember it was combustion. So if we have a quick look at a common exam question for this, how do microorganisms make carbon dioxide available to plants? So marking point one for that is that we've got saprophytic bacteria, they decompose the dead plants and animals. Marking point two they break down the carbon containing compounds and in marking point three, literally you'll just get that for sim, they respire or respiration. And for number four, this releases carbon dioxide. And your fifth marking point available is that this is taken up by plants via the photosynthesis. Okay, goodbye, thank you.